Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing a straight line and this is the lecture number 3. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 2 before watching this part 3. In this lecture, we will discuss about the angle between a straight lines. So, let us start this uh, chapter uh, in this way that angle between two lines. Angle between two lines. Angle between two lines. Right? This is the topic which I would like to discuss today. So, angle between two lines. There are two lines and you have to find the angle between them. So, here is say if this is a line, these are lines and uh, you have two lines in which uh, the angles are described like this is x axis, this one is y axis, right? Now. So, these are the two lines, this is an origin. Suppose uh, you have a line like yeah, let me write this way. Suppose you have uh, two lines, one line is passing through this, making an angle this, and another line is uh, making an angle this way. So this is one line, and now uh, there is another line which will pass through this one. So uh, there is an angle. And uh, these two lines are making an angle theta with each other. So, angle between them is theta, I can say. This line, the first line makes an angle theta 1 and the second line is makes an angle theta. So, slope of the line can be determined by tan theta that is m1 is equal to tan theta 1 and m2 is tan theta 2. These are the slopes. Slopes of the lines are like this. Now, uh, since by geometry, theta 2 is an exterior angle, so by geometry, geometry, we can write theta 2 is equal to, exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite interior angles and therefore, theta can be written as theta 1 minus theta 2 minus theta 1. And now tan theta can be written as tan theta 2 minus theta 1. Now tan a minus b, you know the formula of tan a minus b. What is that? Tan a minus tan b upon 1 plus tan a tan b. 1 plus tan a that is tan theta 2 tan b that is tan theta 1. So we can write it and tan theta 2 is nothing else but m2. So, that is why we can write m2 minus m1 upon 1 plus m1 m2. This is what tan theta. Theta is an acute angle. So, this angle is always positive. If it will be negative, then you take the modulus and that will give the positive angle between these two. Because whenever there is an acute angle, there is contemporary the obtuse angle between this line also. This theta is an acute angle, but here is an obtuse angle also. This is an 180 minus theta that will be a few single. So that is why this to find acute angle always we can write here tan theta is equal to the formula is m2 minus m1 upon 1 plus m1 m2 and that are kept in form of modulus, right? So these are kept in form of modulus. I hope you got it, right? So this will be kept in form of modulus. Right, and uh, this can be written like so. Here, theta is the angle between them. Where theta is an angle between the lines, between two lines, two lines. This is the formula. Tan theta is equal to m2 minus m1 upon 1 plus m1 m2. We know by geometry we have like this. So here our theta is the angle between them. Now a special cases are there. Case first. Case first. Right? When theta is equal to zero, as we had discussed in the last lecture, theta is equal to zero, that is lines are parallel. Lines are parallel then tan theta, tan theta will be tan 0 and tan 0 is 0. 
In that case, what will happen? This implies m2 minus m1 upon 1 plus m1 m2 is equal to 0 and this employee m2 is equal to m1 m2 minus m1 is equal to 0 so when lines are parallel their slopes are equal when lines are parallel their slopes are equal got it so lines are parallel their slopes are equal i hope you got it right now so this will be m2 minus m1 so parallel lines has equal slope parallel lines has equal slopes equal slopes right you can do that now case 2 when lines are perpendicular case 2 when theta is equal to 90 degree that is when lines are perpendicular lines are perpendicular when lines are perpendicular then what will happen then tan 90 is what tan 90 is equal to infinity infinity is 1 upon 0 like that so what will happen that m2 minus m1 upon 1 plus m1 m2 is equal to 1 upon 0 it means 1 plus m1 m2 is equal to 0 if this employee 1 plus m1 m2 is equal to 0 this multiply this side and this multiply with this side it means m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 so this is another condition for lines which are perpendicular so when m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 then lines are perpendicular right now so i hope you got it and you can write it m1 m2 is equal to 0 so for perpendicular lines therefore for perpendicular lines perpendicular lines product of slopes must be equal to minus 1 product of slopes must be must be equal to minus 1 product of slopes must be equal to minus 1 must be equal to minus 1 equal to minus 1 right so i hope you got it so these are the two conditions now let us solve some questions from the given exercise questions from the exercise and uh, this is exercise 10.1 right so the questions now i have to take up page the first question that is question number 9 question number 9 without using <laughs> without <laughs> using distance formula distance formula without using distance formula so that the points so that the points points minus 2 minus 1 4 0 3 3 and minus 3 2 are the vertices of parallelogram are the vertices of parallelogram vertices of parallelogram vertices of parallelogram right this is what so i can start this let us see uh, this is a parallelogram right say this one is a parallelogram and there are four vertices so we can write this that is a and uh, this is b a b c and d these are the points say this is minus 2 minus 1 right and here uh, this is 4 comma 0 and the third one is 3 comma 3 and the fourth one is minus 3 comma 2 minus 3 comma 2 so i have not written as per cartesian system just anywhere you can present this this is just for explanation 
So these are the four vertices. Now, uh, without using distance formula, if we can prove that uh, opposite sides, the length of opposite sides are equal, then definitely we can say that uh, they are parallelogram. But uh, here it is written clearly that without using distance formula, it means so we have to show the lines are parallel. And for parallel lines, you have to prove that uh, slopes of the lines are equal. So I can find the slope of AB here. Slope of AB is given as using y2 minus y1, 0 minus 1 upon 4 plus 2, that is 1 by 6, right now. And slope of CD is equal to, can be calculated 3 minus 2 upon 3 plus 3, that is 1 by 6. Since slope of AB is equal to slope of CD, slope of CD, right? And therefore, AB is parallel to this employee, AB is parallel to CD. Also, we can go ahead with also slope of AB and CD can be calculated now BC and CD. So, slope of BC slope of bc is y2 minus y1 that is 3 minus 0 upon 3 minus 4 that is 1, 3 upon minus 1 that is minus 3 and slope of ad is also given by what is ad this is uh, 2 minus minus 1 y2 minus y1 that is 2 minus minus 1 that is 3 2 minus minus 1 divided by x2 minus x1 minus 3 plus minus minus 2 minus 3 minus minus 2 so that will be 2 plus 1 3 upon minus 3 plus 2 that is minus 1 is minus 3 so since uh, slope of here also since slope of abc is equal to slope of slope of bc is equal to slope of ad and therefore BC is parallel to AD. Since opposite sides are parallel and therefore ABCD is a parallelogram. ABCD is a parallelogram. Parallelogram. So these coordinates are vertices of parallelogram. I hope you got it. Now the next question is question number 10. And question number 10 is there. Find the angle between the x axis and the line find the angle between angle between x axis and the line and the line joining joining points the points points 3 comma minus 1 and 4 comma minus 2. So this is a uh, value which are given here slope of line. So slope of line we can write solutions as slope of line slope of line is what? Slope of line is m1 slope of line m1 is equal to what is that y2 minus y1 that is minus 1 we can write here minus 1 y1 y2 minus minus 1 that is plus 2 divided by 3 minus 4. So this is 2 minus 1 is 1 upon minus 1 that is minus 1. Slope of line is this minus 1. Slope of x axis is 0. Slope of x axis is 0 right now. And therefore we can find the angle between the line that is m2 is 0. And therefore, angle between the lines is given by tan theta is equal to m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2. We can write m2 minus m1 or m1 minus m2 anything because it will be always modulus. So here m1 or you can write m2 minus m1 or m1 minus m2. There is no problem. So you can do it anything. Right now, just I am writing. So m2 is 0 minus minus 1. That is 1 0 plus 1 upon 1 plus what is that? 0 into minus 1 that is 0. So what is that? 1 upon 1 is 1 and therefore theta is equal to 45 degree. So answer is this. Angle is 45 degree.
So line makes an angle of 45 degree with the x axis. I hope you got it. Now question number 11 is there. And the question says the slope of slope of a line is double of the slope of another line. A line is double of the slope of another line. Slope of another line. Right? Slope of line is double of slope of the other line. If the tangent of angle between them if the tangent of angle between them of angle between them them is 1 by 3 find the slopes of the line find the slopes of the line slopes of the line right find the slope of the line slope of lines find the slope of lines okay now so solution um, just writing here solution this is not question but solution so solution what to do left uh, slope of lines are m1 and m2 slopes of lines are m1 and m2 right so m1 is equal to here m2 is equal to twice of m1 slope of one line is slope of another line or m1 is equal to twice of m2 you can write any one of them there is no problem and uh, here a uh, given angle between them is theta so since theta is the angle is the angle since theta is the angle between the lines since theta is the angle between the lines between the lines therefore given by formula tan theta is equal to m2 minus m1 upon 1 plus m1 m2 this is what formula you have learned and now tan theta is given tangent of an angle is given 1 by 3 it is given a tangent of an angle is 1 by 3 and m2 is equal to 2 m1 minus m1 and 1 plus m1 into 2 m1 m2 is 2 m1 i can write like this now what will happen if uh, this will be 1 by 3 is equal to 2 m2 minus m1 is m1 upon 1 plus 2 m1 square modulus so that can be written as m1 upon 1 plus 2 m1 square is equal to plus minus 1 by 3 if you remove modulus then other side there will be positive or negative both the sides are there because it might be possible that here um, uh, this one is negative or positive. So in that case you will uh, further proceed like 3 multi when now there will be two cases we can consider here case first case first when m1 upon 1 plus 2 m1 square is equal to 1 by 3 in this case 3m1 is equal to 1 plus 2m1 square. In this case, 2m1 square minus 3m1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Product of these two is positive, so it can be split into middle term way. And uh, that will be minus 2m1. Right now, minus 2m1 minus m1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So, factors are therefore this employee 2m1 if I will take common then m1 minus 1 and if minus 1 is taken common then that will be m1 minus 1 is equal to 0. This employee m1 minus 1 and 2m1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So either m1 is equal to 1 or m1 is equal to 1 by 2. So these are the two slopes right now. So when m1 is equal to 1 then m2 is equal to now when m1 is equal to 1 then m2 must be 2 m1 that is 2 into 1 is equal to 2 and when m1 is equal to half then m2 is given by 2 m1 that is 
2 into 1 by 2 is also equal to what? 1. So, slopes are either 1, 2 or 1 by 2, 1. When m is my, when this is equal to minus 1 by 3. But case 2, case 2, we can write when uh, slope is that is m1 upon 1 plus 2 m1 square is equal to minus 1 by 3. In this case, this will be 1 plus 2 m1 square is equal to um, is equal to minus 3 m1 and that will be 2 m1 square plus 3 m1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Again, this can be written as 2 m1 plus 2 m1 square plus 2 m1 plus m1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So, further this can be written as m1 plus 1 and 2 m1 plus 1 is equal to 0. Right now, so this will be m1 is equal to minus 1 or minus half. Again, when m1 is equal to minus half, then m2 is equal to twice of m1 that is 2 into minus 1 is equal to minus 2. And when m2 m1 is equal to minus half, then m2 is equal to 2 times of minus 1 that is 2 times of minus half is equal to minus 1. Hence, there are 4 pair of slopes are there and you can write answer of all of them. Therefore, slopes are, slopes of lines are either, what were those? 2 answers here will come. 1, 2, half 1, 1, 2, half 1, 1, 2 or uh, minus 1, minus 2 or minus half, minus 1. These are the four pair of slopes of the lines are and that will be answered. Now let us solve question number 12 and question number 12 is if a line passes through, passes through x1, y1 and h comma k, okay, h comma k, if slopes of the line is m, if the slope of the line is m, line is m, then so that, so that x1 minus k minus y1 is equal to m times of h minus x1, h minus x1, right, h minus x1. So, how to deal with this? So, slope of line passing through two points, we know, we know the slope of line, we know the slope of line passing through two points, passing through two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 and x2 y2 is given by m is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 and therefore similarly slope of line therefore slope of line slope of line joining x1 y1 and hk h comma k is given by m is equal to y2 is k k minus y1 upon h minus x1 and this employee k minus y1 is equal to m times of h minus x1 and that is the proof this is what to prove so that is proved so this is the simple one right now now question number 13 and what is that question number 13 if a points, if three points, if three points, three points, H0, A, B and 0, K, A, B and 0, comma K lie on the line, lie on the line, 
line so that so that a by h plus h b by k b by k is equal to 1 b by k is equal to 1 now how to deal with this question so we can write solution of this question search solution slope of line slope of a line or since they are collinear their area is equal to 0 lies on the same line means they are collinear and since they are lies on the same line slopes are equal so we can write here since all these three points lies on the same line let a 0 h comma 0 b a comma b and c 0 comma k are collinear lies on the same line lie on same line on the same line so their slopes are equal even area of triangle can be put equal to zero that is also possible lies on the same line same line hence slopes of lines are equal lines are equal that is and therefore slopes of slopes of a b slope of a b is equal to slope of b c slope of a b is equal to slope of b c a b is equal to slope of b c that is b minus 0 upon a minus h is equal to k minus b upon 0 minus a so that will be if you multiply this this will be minus a b is equal to what will happen a k 0 minus h this is 0 minus h you know so minus k h and plus b h if you divide this this will two sides this will come this side and this will be the opposite sides then what will happen this is a so where a b and a b cancels out now b h plus a k is equal to k h right now if you divide by a b both the sides so we can write it uh, a k plus b h is equal to what is that k h isn't it and if you divide by k h both the sides it will be k k cancel and that will be a by h plus b by k is equal to 1 and that is the proof of this theorem so i can uh, see this i hope you will be able to get this now the next question of question number 14 is there and let me write this it is given that consider the following population it is a graph given here and on the basis of graph consider the following population population consider the following population and year graph and year graph graph is given here so let me construct a graph find the slope of line a b find the slope of line a b slope of a b line a b and using it and using it <clears throat> what will be the population of the year in 2010 what will be the population of what will be <coughs> the population of in the year 2010 in the year 2010 so let me draw the so here slope of the line <coughs> slope of the line a b is given as what is that it is given in the graph y2 minus y1 97 minus 92 upon x2 minus so 1995 minus this is yours minus 1985 so that will be what 5 by this will be 5 and this will be 10 
so 5 by 10 is 1 by 2 so slope is basically 1 by 2 right now slope is basically 1 by 2 also if there is in 2010 say in 2010 the population of this one is x we don't know that we have to calculate then slope will be same isn't it so using this we have to calculate and therefore slope of line say this is a point c here also this one is point c so slope of bc is equal to slope of ab slope of bc is equal to slope of ab and therefore we can write here slope of bc is nothing else but x minus x minus 97 upon what is that 2010 minus 1995 and that is equal to slope of a b is 1 by 2 so x minus 97 upon this is 15 is equal to 1 by 2 so we can write it x minus 97 is equal to <coughs> this will be 15 by 2 15 by 2 that is x minus 97 is equal to 7.5 and therefore x is equal to 97 plus 97.5 uh, is 104.5 so population is 104.5 in 2000 here this is written population in crores population in crores crores right now population in crores this is what and here this is a years that is what described here years right now so years and this is population in crores so in 2010 the population will be therefore in 2010 population will be population will be 104.5 crores that is answer i hope you got this right now so this is all about it in this chapter and uh, Hopefully you have enjoyed it and you learn it all these things how to deal with the situations and uh, we are taking a break and after break we will uh, start the next topic and that will be up sometimes until then enjoy and revise this one also thank you thank you very much.